Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. This will be my second week reviewing Curl Origin in my B.O.B. 123 series. That's black owned brands only, three wash day reviews, three styles, three company and or founder facts per video. It has been, I think, 14 days since my first wash day and twist out. I generally do wash my hair on a weekly basis, but just circumstances of life right now, I wash my hair when I can. <laughs> I'm going to show you how my hair is looking 14 days later. I was not incredibly impressed by the products at the end of my week one wash day. They didn't wow me on application. They didn't wow me directly after, but my hair doesn't feel bad. I mean, there's some products that you just, I mean, like you cannot go 14 days. These I was able to. I'm still not wowed by them, but I am struck by the fact that my hair feels not, not too bad 14 days later. The reason I wasn't really wowed by the products, I would say is largely because my hair can shine. It can take on shine. If you've seen my ingredient review, a lot of the ingredients, although I only covered five, but per my more extensive research into the ingredients, a lot of them boast the ability to allow for shine. And I, my hair, has, it looks pretty much to me as dull as it did on, on day one. But yeah, it doesn't feel bad. I haven't had any scalp irritation. So the products were fine. Week two is my braid out. I think I'm gonna braid my hair and then leave it until the baby's born because it's very possible I wouldn't be able to wash my hair for three weeks from now anyway. So I'm afraid of going into labor like during a wash day. So there will be a little bit of a hiatus as there has been between all of my videos as of late and as of probably actually eight months or so. I wanted to show you my hair. I mean, I guess it doesn't look good. I, my standards have kind of gotten a little bit lower. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> okay, anyway, so three facts. Fact one, these products were actually created by the same people that created the She Sent It products. I didn't know that there was any kind of relation, so that was interesting to find out. Fact two, this isn't really a founder or a company fact, but I did use these products in Layla's hair because I haven't really been having great luck with the products I've been using. I've been using the Soul Tanicals, Kitty Tanicals shampoo, the Earthborn Organics, I think it's uh, cocoa butter. They have some kind of cocoa butter deep conditioner, hasn't been great in her hair, but her hair is finer and thinner and that product is definitely way too thick for her. And then as a leave-in, I've been using the Soltanicals Kitty Tanicals um, leave-in conditioner. They only have one, so their shampoo and their leave-in conditioner. Your hair just hasn't been feeling all that soft and it's it hasn't been great. I use the Curl Origin, I use my shampoo, my deep conditioner, I did leave it in for 15 minutes. And I use the leave-in that I have that I used in my first review. Her hair is actually very soft. It also is not really all that shiny, but I don't know if her hair shines. In this very small experimental group, myself and my daughter, I have type four, coarse, low porosity hair. She has fine, probably like, some of her hair is type two, some of her hair is type three, some of it's like type one. She has very fine, high porosity. The products actually worked a lot better for her. I just put her hair up in a bun, so, I haven't really seen how it's wearing down, but her hair feels really good. So I think I'm gonna to continue to use them for her when I'm done with them. Fact three, kind of a lame fact, I'll, I'll leave with that, but I was gonna check out their blog. It looks like on their website, they do have a link to a blog, but the blog seems to be down. So the fact is that they have a blog, but it doesn't seem to be active right now. So I'm gonna be using my Bo Peep Luxuries Manifest Oil to pre-poo. I haven't done like an oil pre-poo in such a long time, an oil only. So I'm gonna go, I will be back when it is time to do my first braid. Technically, since I'm gonna be leaving this in as like a protective style for the next two to three weeks, I should do like really small sections and try to make the braids look good. But I'm struggling with that because I feel like that's gonna take a really long time. And for me, it's all about like quick styling. So we'll see, this won't be fashion. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a protective hairstyle. And then when the baby's born, I will take my braids out and then I can take my picture. So that's my plan. Cause my mom has a horrible picture of me from when Aiden was born. I don't remember what my situation was, Layla, was when Layla, oh yeah, I had my hair, I think at a twist out and I wore a slap cap when Layla was born. But anyway, I'm gonna be ready for my close up after the baby's born and I, I take out my braids. I'm gonna go and pre-poo, work out, continue with my routine and I'll be back when it's time for styling. It's been a couple of hours, which is good and bad. I haven't really had the chance to, or rather I haven't been allowing leave-in conditioners to sit for the longest time because I've been styling my hair in the shower, but I had some stuff I had to go out and do Unfortunately, unfortunately. So it's like five o'clock. I think it's been like three hours. So let's see how oh, it feels really soft actually, which is nice. I tried to do my little twists a bit tight to maintain the stretch. I didn't really do any detangling much at all through this process. Of, so I'm gonna be doing that when I style. I'm gonna try to do it in smaller sections, just like 
for looks. I will come back when my hair is dry, even though I'm not gonna take it out, just because I wanna see what the braids feel like. I feel like my braids always feel really dry. Hopefully that won't be the case. Now I will do my first one on camera. My hair feels really good though, which is nice. I didn't feel much putting on the leave-in conditioner again, but I feel something now, so that's good. I'm glad I gave it a chance. That being said though, there are leave-in conditioners that I like as soon as I put them on. And with my specific routine, I don't leave leave-in conditioners on for an extended period of time before I start styling anymore. So I prefer something that starts to work immediately. All right, wow, my hair actually feels like really good. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad because I'm really inconvenienced and really annoyed that I had to take this long break because now this is going to conflict with my evening. But I'm glad that I did. Okay. My hair was actually really tangled before. The product does not do nothing after you give it some time to sit. I am very happy with the way my hair is feeling right now. Another thing, I used the leave-in conditioner, the smoothie, and the jelly in week one. I noted that my hair was flaking and I've gotten some comments that other people have experienced the same thing. So this week I'm gonna be using just the Honey and Hibiscus Moisturizing Curl Smoothie in addition to the leave-in. Next week I'm gonna try just the jelly and I'm not gonna use this. So let's see how it goes. It's very light, just like it was the first week. <laughs> okay. All right, it's 5.14 p.m. Let's, let's see how long this takes. Another reason I should do smaller sections is that it'll make it easier to coil my ends. I could use a disposable bands at the bottom of my hair, but I don't really want to do that. Lost one of my sections, so now I'm just going to twist. My hair feels so different than it did in week one. Twist. I am going to put a silk scarf on my shoulder because I don't like this little friction area. All right, it is 8.15. I've had to go to the bathroom for about two hours. These aren't coming out anytime soon. They're at least gonna stay in until the baby's born. And then I will take out my hair and hopefully it will be glorious. This took too long. I will be back when my hair is dry. And uh, that took way too long. All right, feels good though. So it has been about a week. I did not come back the next day. So my week three review will be post delivery. I have two buns at the back. I mean, it's, oh, I just went out. It's not styled in any way that I'm gonna even turn around and show you what it looks like. I have a bun at the top and I have a bun at the bottom or I've been just doing one bun. It is not my style to like to just walk around with my hair like this. I don't think it looks good. I think it looks thin. I've just been putting my hair up and that's been working perfectly fine. My braids actually feel very well moisturized, which I am very happy about. There was one day probably on like day three where my hair was not feeling particularly moisturized and I just took some of the leave-in conditioner and I just kind of pressed it into my braids and I haven't needed to do anything since. I think the braids look good. Problem I'm having a week post wash. I'm getting a little bit of dandruff up here and my scalp is starting to itch. So I am actually planning to wash my hair, but not like a full wash day and I'm gonna keep it in the braids just so I can clean my scalp. So I don't know what I'm gonna use. It's not gonna be a review of these products. I have probably like five collections of things that I just haven't finished yet because I finished my week free review and then I was done with them. I'm just going to Shampoo my hair. I might even just like, I have some conditioners that are like five minutes. I'm gonna do a five minute conditioner. I'm gonna rinse it out and that's it. My whole thing is I can't go through like a full wash day, which now because of my kids being home, takes me an entire day. I can't do that because what if I go into labor in the middle of it? I don't wanna do that. So I'm actually homeschooling Aiden again and they just removed the mask mandate out of school. I'm not getting into that whole thing. I'm stretched again. So I am looking forward to the warmer weather. That should make things a little bit better. I am going to wash my hair off camera and until I can get back and do my week three review, I am gonna try to put out some videos just about like other stuff. I know I started this series, it's only been one video so far about just like how I'm doing emotionally and all that kind of stuff. And just like 
non-hair related. By the way, I don't think I mentioned, I am full term as of today. So baby is like fully developed. So it could be ready to introduce itself pretty much from here on. Ashley in particular, I remember you've been one of the people to suggest that I just do braids leading up to my delivery. And I was like, absolutely not, I don't wanna do that. Well, you won. And this is actually what I wanna do. So that brings me to my week two review. I'm actually pretty happy with these, with these products. I think the products worked better this week than they did last week. Meanwhile, wish me luck with the baby. If you want, I mean, that'd be nice. And I will try to come back with some other content while I am holding off on my hair content. But yeah, my hair feels very soft. I am very happy about that. But yes, itchy scalp, it is time to wash. I should have done that actually this weekend since this is not gonna be like an all day process. But I'm going to try somehow to wash my hair this week so I don't have itchy scalp. Thank you for watching. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Like, comment, and share, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks, and have a good one.